Okay. Did you wiki? Hello! <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Good. It's uh, uh, good weather like in France today. Sunlight. Well, if you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. Okay. <laughs> Where are you? I'm in Paris. Ah, you're in Paris for the promotion? Yes, yes. For okay. the Paris. Yeah. So, welcome in France, Tajwiki. Thank you so much. My name is Jessica. Jessica, nice to meet you. My name is Tajwix. Me too. Yeah. Okay, we will begin if you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. You want to take a chill? You can please. Okay. I'm ready when you are. Okay, so Tajwik is an interview by Kika for Eau de Radio. Um, it's at a little, a little town called Senon, close to Bordeaux. Okay. Okay, so you release your new album to all my relation in October 18? Yes, I did. Okay, so uh, in the little, tell me, you use an instrument what is it uh, to make like a beat maker? To an instrument to like a beat maker. What song is that? The the song Tell Me. No, the drum. It's a drum. A drum. It's okay. A drum. And I don't know what happened to my video, but I'm I don't. I'm not hip with technology, so sorry about that. No, no matter. <laughs> so you told me it was a drum. Yeah, there are no beat makers on the album. Okay. So, do do you beginning uh, singing with gospel? No, I used to sing um, whatever was on the radio. Okay. Because what we used to do was when we would practice a song off the radio, and then you would sing to our parents at the end. So I did that and then I sang in church too because my mother went to a Pentecostal church. So I got the chance to sing in church. Okay. So yeah, wherever I got the chance, I sang. Okay, so you begin young, young, younger, uh, five years old. Yeah, I was five, yeah. Okay. Um, in, in, the, in, in all this album, we can, we can, um, um, how do you tell? In English, you, you we, we can feel the the influence of Steel Pulse in all the album to all my relation. Um, this is uh, Steel Steel Pulse who produced and record this album, and are you influenced by him, or in all your in all your life? It, it was just it was the keyboard player from Steel Pulse who um, who produced the album. I mean, I'm influenced by anybody who plays good music. So yes, I would say that I was influenced a bit by Steel Pulse, but not for that album. I was just re influenced by them overall. Okay, and uh, the the fighting you are singing in this album, it's like Bob uh, was singing in the 70s and 80s also. You are on the same way. Well, you know, when I, when I was growing up listening to radio, that's what reggae used to do. Sure. It used to encourage the people and it used to tell them the story of the day. So we try to do the same thing, you know, that's that's what reggae is about. Reggae is a world. Yeah. You know, so we try to do what we can. Yeah. Give a message for everybody. Um, you talk about war in the title Terror, like there is no way. Do you still believe in peace or are you disappointed by the society? Well, I'm disappointed, but I'm still hopeful. Yeah. You know? But, you know, man disappoints us every day. 
I saw I saw a recent quote the other day that said people should be more like animals because when they go into the forest they leave no garbage. Mm -hmm. We do. So yeah, so in some ways we need to be like animals. Good answer. Thank you. <laughs> so do you believe in gathering, in protesting? Do you still believe in in the peace in this world? Yeah, if I didn't believe in peace, I wouldn't be doing what I do. But I believe we have to protest and we have to fight and we have to let our voices be heard. Because unless we do that, the people in power are not going to change. Mm. So we have to keep on doing what we're doing. And keep the power of music also. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Okay, what do you think about rebuild a new world like in, you are in France in this moment? You can see the, the hungry of the society in France. Uh, what do you think about our younger children to rebuild a new world? Well, the younger children can rebuild the whole new world, you know, because the old people are already set in the ways. You know, they talk, us about, they talk about making the world a better place, but they're not doing anything about mm. it. So obviously they're just, they're just talking. It's the people who are going to inherit the earth who are going to make the change. And these are the young people, so I support them fully. Sure, sure. I have a daughter, 16 years old, and uh, I, I, I tell her, make, make many things, many new things to rebuild the new world with uh, many chance for them. For sure. Yes, yeah, she needs to make as much noise as she can possibly make. Because sometimes, you know, there's an old thing, is the creaking door that gets the oil. So when you start making the noise, that's the only time people can respond. If you stay quiet, nobody pays attention. Sure, sure. So, as, as you are in France, can you compare uh, the society in France and the United States society? Is it comparing? Well, you know, I've come to realize that people are the same way they do. There is good, there is bad, there are revolutionaries, there are readers, there are fighters, there are police, there are traitors, there are warriors, all of them are the same way. We just have to kind of... What's important is who the leaders are to get these people together to fight for their rights. Sure. Most, uh, society is the same, most people. Uh -huh. <laughs> if, even if you are in a, in so far, far away and or here in France, it's uh, the same in, in the believing. Well, yeah, because I, I think the people who I, I mix with are the revolutionary people, so they seem the same everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sure, I believe in it also. What can be the first thing you will do if you had magic power? I will make everybody love each other. Love? Yeah. Okay. I would, I would inject everybody with heavy doses of love. Sure. There will be no more war. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thank you for this answer. You compose with your heart. You are a poet also. Is there a subject? Is there a subject you fear to sing? No, man, I don't fear to sing anything. I sing everything. Okay. Anything I think that bothers me that need a change, and I can put it in song. I will sing about it. If I can't sing about it, I will talk about it and I will write about it. <laughs> no, no subject that I am afraid of. Okay. You've got a foundation, we will talk about it now, uh, TOKO, the Open Pride Outreach. Uh, what are the motivation for you to make this foundation? Well, because I believe we are our brothers and sisters keepers. And whatever we can do to help each other, we do what we can. So the charity helps us help other people. You know, when I was, when I was growing up, what I understood about the Rasta community, but that we took care of each other, you know? Sure, sure. Not that I'm able to do a little more and do a little more. Uh -huh. yeah. So, what could be the new ways for you for prevention uh, of about AIDS? Let's say that again. Um, in, in this foundation, TOKO, you help people um, who are um, victim of the AIDS virus. Um, and for you, what could be the new ways of this for this prevention? Well, you know, I, the thing about this is we started off doing one thing, and 
and then other things came into our way and we started doing it. So I, I don't know if there's anything that we can do for prevention, but we just keep on doing what we can do mm. so we don't have to deal with that again. Still careful. Yes. Okay. In the, in the song uh, Bullet for, From Again, uh, with still electric guitar inside, we can hear uh, still person influence. Uh, <laughs> do you sing sadness or is it remembering? It's both of them. It's both of them. Because um, what's sad is that it keeps happening over and over, you know? Mm. So we have to remember it so we don't make the same mistake again. Sure. But it looks like the people who are firing and selling the guns keep making mistakes. It's an innocence that keeps suffering. So we have to try to figure out the way to prevent them from making those mistakes because we are the ones suffering because of what they do. To, to, prevent, to prevent everything. See, just take care, don't do that. Well, I mean, think about it. If we love each other, we don't have to tell anybody anything. <laughs> and that's why you want to put love in every heart. Yeah, if I love you, then I want to hurt you. Uh-huh, sure, sure. So, uh, a new question about uh, Ed's virus. Do you think, um, wh what do you think uh, of um, our society view of the Ed's virus today, more than 20 years later, the, the reaction of the people? I, I missed the question. Uh, what do you think of our society's view of the Ed's virus today, more than 20 years after? Uh, uh, no, I missed it. Of uh, what the Ed's virus, did you say? Uh, what do you think about our society's view about the Ed's virus um, more, more than 20 years later after the beginning of this virus? What do I think? Um, I think we've opened our minds up a little bit, you know. I think we've come to realize that some of this was given to some of us so they could get rid of some people, you know, because the society is afraid of people who are not like them. Yeah, they're still, they are still afraid 20 years later, like in France now. Still younger people, our children here uh, in France, believe that we can have this kissing someone touching someone, so there are no enough prevention about this um, AIDS virus. Well, that's why, we, that's why we talk all the time. Yeah. So that people know what it is that they believe and what is actually true. Sure. So we have, you know, it's for everything. It's for that, it's for, you know, it's for whatever there is. People who don't know and who are ignorant are more afraid. Yeah. And the truth is to change how it is that they feel. So we just have to keep on telling them. It's a missing of knowing. Yes, yeah, definitely. Sure. Of knowing, I like that. Thank you for your answers. It's nice. You also fight against climate change. You will release soon a new independent title, 1.5 Stay Alive. About that, to advertise people, about emergency to save the planet and make react people on their comportment. For you, what could be the first things to do to change our meaning to live in our planet? Get rid of all the leaders in the world. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Because listen, if we really truly wanted to make a change, you wouldn't make it yesterday. And I'm talking about when I see we, I'm talking about leaders. Yeah. That's why the 16 year old daughter has to keep marching, because they're too old and they no longer listen. And they don't really care because they have five more years to live. Yeah. You know? Sure. So we who care about our children and our children's children have to keep fighting. But in order for us to change, we have to get rid of the people who do not understand that we need to change. Sure, sure, sure. Um, do you think our children will have the strength to fight, the courage to make this other world we are calling? Yeah, man, the children have more strength and courage than us. They I'm still not, have love. I'm not worried about the children. If, you know, children learn what they live. If we teach them now, that's who they, they will be. They will be revolutionaries for the environment, revolutionaries for love, Fighting. revolutionaries for everything good. 
world. So we just have to keep telling them that this world is theirs and it is theirs alone. Yeah, man. Sure, sure. Okay. Um, you talk about temperature increase. What are the solutions for you to avoid this temperature increase? Are you some idea? Well, we know, we, we know what we have to do. We have to get rid of some fossil fuels. We have to get rid of these cars that are causing all this confusion. We know what we have to do. Uh huh. They yes. know. They know. Yeah. Sure, they know. So, I have a question now for giving. How to give in the campaign to support the Caribbean and other vulnerable countries in the fight against this climate change? How can well, we give in your... There's, there's an organization called PANOS. PANOS. P-A-N-O-S. Yeah. They're, they're the organization fighting for climate change in the Caribbean. And there is a link in this yeah. site? Yeah, there's on the back of the CD, there's a link. Yeah, I saw it. If anybody Googles PANOS, they can see um, where it is that they can give and how it is that they can give and how they can support the organization. Sure, thank you. Um, the last conferences were in Bangkok, in Bangkok in September 18, in Katowice uh, in December 18, to find solution. How to invent, to create, to continue to fight against this climate change? Say that one more time. Um, um, even if we are talking our people, their, their meaning, their solution, how can we invent more? How can we create more, more and more? Well, I mean, that's what's causing us to be where we are. We're creating too much more. We're creating things we don't need. We're selling people things that they have no, no, no need for. So maybe we need to just stop creating so much. Sure. Because yeah, we don't need a whole new line of cars and a whole new line of clothes and a whole new line of bicycles and more microwaves, we have enough of all that. What we have to do is stop making so much junk that we don't need and learn to love each other. That's the solution to everything. Uh, to to, to break the realization award. Yeah, because you see, what you create is one big giant. Mm -hmm. thing. Sure. Things we don't need and we have to get rid of. Sure, sure. A lot of things we don't need. Sure. Um, so, about this, um, I suppose the song "One Point Five Still Alive" is addressed to the 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 high people of our society. Well, it's addressed to everyone, you know, because the, the, there are lots of little people in the society who are not aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Because the people in society, the big people, don't let them see the news and let them know what's happening. Sure. You know, they feed them junk about this celebrity did this and. This car is new and keep them away from the truth. And so um, address to the big people and the little people because we need all the people to make a change. Yeah, and the big people are on a cloud. Yeah, we need to start shooting down the clouds so we come down to earth. You know? Sure, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Um, do you think we have reached the point of no return about our planet? I don't think we well, no, I don't think so. The thing is, I don't believe, well, what I truly believe is that we cannot kill the planet. We're going to kill ourselves. Uh -huh. The planet will go to sleep, but it will come back, but we won't be there to enjoy it when we get Even if there is a 1.5 degrees more, the, the water can grow and everybody goes to Africa. Well, <laughs> <laughs> if it gets up to 1.5, we will die. The earth will come back again, we will be fine. We're, we're fighting for our lives, really. Sure, sure. We think we're fighting for the earth, but we're fighting for our lives. And I think if we will let people realize that they're fighting for their lives, then people will be quicker to make the change. And if the earth die, oh, we, we die also, sure. Exactly, if the sure. earth dies, we die. Okay, um, so, can you have the guitar with you? Can you play something for the Audio Radio auditors? Yeah, I'll play you some for Big Farmer. Okay. okay. We're underestimating the motivating power. Seems 
Big Pharma don't care about your health care. Big Pharma will kill this death awaiting in your field. Big Pharma in this will bribe your mama sits. Big Pharma neglects. Side effects for underestimating, motivating by greed. Underestimating, motivating power greed. Big pharma, big lies, but they know how to advertise. Cause of your addiction, big pharma, but to get ya, conspires with your doctor. Big pharma spreads seduction. Underestimating, motivating, power free. Small dose, big adore, that leads to an overdose. Do the fact that we crash, yet comes an add side effect. Underestimating, motivating power of grief. Wonderful. And life just for me. <laughs> it's a wonderful album. Congratulations, because uh, from the beginning till the end, we are, um, I, I don't know how to say it in English, we are um, transported in an in a area of uh, um, dreaming and, uh, and meaning also um, to to realize that all your words are all your poets' words in, in this album to all my relation are very, very powerful. And uh, we we just can appreciate this album and appreciate all the song of this album because they are telling every time a message for us. And uh, I, I can compare you with Bob Marley because I, I, I think you are in the same the same um, being. Well I, I thank you I thank you. We do what we can. You know, and I tell people it, it's not like it's just the way it is. You know, I don't try to do anything like anybody else. Mm. Just do what I do. And whichever way it comes out, whichever way it's received, I appreciate that. And this is Rasta also Rasta meaning to live. Yes. So I give thanks to you for saying what you just said. Thank you so much. Thank you, you. Yeah, and big up and yes. have a good tour. Take care. Thank you so much for reaching out. Thank you for you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Take care. Wednesday. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you too. It's Take wonderful. Care. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, bye. And still grow in the association. <laughs> and still making money to fight for yes. everyone. Yes, yes. We're it's, trying our best. It's a very good, very good thing. Have a wonderful day. Humanitarian people are good, like you. My mother did it also. Okay. On on red red cross. Okay. Okay. She's a nurse. Alright. And I'm also too. <laughs> Alright, that's good to see you're taking care of people too. Okay, take care to you. Bye bye.